Welcome to another episode of Poolside Cooking. I'm your host, Nikki Styles, and today's episode is the Kidpreneur episode. It's going to be amazing, whoa, so whoa, get ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Aren't you Nikki Styles? Yeah, that's me. The, the I'm famous about young me. child host? Yep. Oh, my God. Welcome. Yeah. My really goodness. Nice. This is Nikki. Hold on. You get a hug first. I get a hug, too. <laughs> My God, we've got Nikki Styles in the house today, and this is the Kidpreneur episode, and I guarantee you, you're going to get and have some fun out of this episode. Hey, let's sit by the poolside, the weather feels so, so good tonight, sip on the red wine, everything is so nice, yeah, it's time, time to yeah, because right now. Hi everyone, so I'm so excited. This is our kids brunch episode and I'm here with Chef Kaylani. Hi! How are you, Chef? I'm great. Well, I'm so excited to have you here to inspire all the other kids and just show us what you're here to do, what you do best, okay? Got it. So, can you just walk us through what you're going to make for us today? Today, I'm going to be making a delicious grilled cheese sandwich that has cucumbers and a delicious orange lemon splash nice. juice. Oh, I love it. Sounds great, right? So, I've never had a cucumber cheese grilled cheese sandwich, so I'm really excited. Chef Kaylani has this grill ready for us, and she's just going to walk us through what she has over here. So, show us what you have over here. Okay, so I have all my bread, my cheeses, my Whoa. cheese crumble. Of course, I'm going to cook my cucumbers on the grill. Okay. And then I have my butter, which I actually added the crumbled cheese to, so it's going to taste amazing. Oh, yes. Of course, my salt and my pepper. Okay. My olive oil and my utensils to pick well, up and put down stuff. Yes, I see. And I'm just happy. Tell us about this crumble here. I mean... Tell us about that. So the cheese crumble is basically like a crumbled cheese that's going to make it taste delicious and amazing. Yes. I put it in the butter so the butter could be cheesy. Can you believe it? It sounds amazing. <laughs> it does. It does. And I'm, I am equally or maybe even more excited than you, Chef Kaylani. I'm, I'm going to say I'm more excited to, to taste this grilled cheese sandwich. So let's, let's do it. But first, we're going to take a minute and see what uh, Clarence got cooking over there. Man, I am so excited today. I've got innovative twist in the house. Man, I've been waiting so long to have Josh on the show. Josh and I go back years. 16. 16, 16 years, man, of just production, man. No, if anybody knows the graphic side of the entertainment business, it would be this young man right here. Now we also have his beautiful family with us. We've got the young Nick, uh, uh, Nicky Styles. How y'all doing? All right, is actually known as one of the youngest hosts in the entertainment business. And we have his beautiful wife, Melissa. Yeah. Melissa, it's good seeing you again. Likewise, I'm excited My to be here with you guys. Awesome, awesome, man. We've got so much to talk about, very little time. But uh, I'm gonna start off with Josh. Josh has been 16 years doing this. It's a long time, Clarence. You know, and, 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 and you know, I can remember when you first started, you know, when you first started in this thing, and I can remember the hustle oh, that yeah. you had. And I told you, I said, you're going to be a millionaire. Yep. I told you that. Because I remember the hustle that you had. Still you got know? it, though. And you still got you it. Still got it. 16 years later, it's still there, man. That's right. Let me ask you this. What made you choose the graphic business? What, what, what was it? So I don't think I chose it. I think it chose me. Okay. Only because when I got out the military in 2004, I couldn't get a job doing what I was doing. I was an IT in the Navy. Wow. So wow. without having that college degree, it just made it hard to get anything. So I ended up working at Kinko's. And from Kinko's, oh. Alaskan Row, that's where I learned the prank game. And then from there, wow. it just evolved into having my own company and still doing it 16 years later. You but, know, I but, said- you know, things the, change. And right, that's, absolutely. What's amazing for me now is it's not, it's not even about print anymore. Like I still do print, but it's, the success of businesses that I get to watch and help grow has been my thing now. Like print's cool, but it's watching these companies go right, from right. here to here and know that I had a piece of that. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's man. That's some. That's great that you said that because I'm probably an example. Yeah. 
of one of those businesses, you know, and, and we appreciate you very much. So, but let me ask you this. And I said, I was going to ask you this when I saw you, how in the world did you come up with that name? Innovative twist. So listen, everyone asks me that. The <laughs> funniest part is I, I wrote down names that I liked, right? Uh -huh. Just words that I liked. Mm -hmm. And with those words, what I did was I just matched them together, just different combinations, but I had to make sure the dot com was available. So when I finally matched Innovative Twist, the dot com was available. So I stuck with the name. Right. And, and right. now it's a it's a household name. It, right. It, it's oh, a okay. brand. Everybody says it's, it, it's definitely a brand. And and, 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 and and it's a national brand. Now. It is. It is. You international. Know, it's a national brand. Yeah, I've done, you know, it people don't understand the people I print for. You know. T tell us some of the people you print for. You just, know, just my newest client is TikTok. TikTok. Oh and people have no oh. idea. Like they reached out to me. Wow. You know, and I'm just the one it's it's me and the family. It's what that's it. You know? Right. But it's it's been amazing to see the transformation. You know, I my support system, my wife is amazing. Like if mm -hmm. it wasn't for her, mm -hmm. I might not be here doing what I'm right, doing now. Right, but right. she like holds me together, she keeps pushing me because you know, as entrepreneurs, we do burn out. Yes. You know? Yes. So she's always there to tell me, All right, it's time to take a break. Let's you know, let's go relax and let's go do something and you know, so my family has been my safe haven and allowing me to take that, but I love it. I, wow. I just, you know, I can't, you know, the new venture we're about to launch, that's that's our new passion. I'm always gonna do the plan. I'm always gonna still have the innovative twist and, you know, but helping these kids is our next big thing. And I see that it's called Kids and Biz. That's right. It's wow. our future. We gotta get them. Wow, uh, you're absolutely correct. I want them you while they're absolutely young. Correct. I need to teach them it's okay to fail. I need, mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. I need them to understand that you know, you can have confidence. That's a, I mean, he's a he's a prime example. At at eight years old, hosting in front of ten thousand people and has been get to that. Yeah, yeah, has been. been amazing. So you know, breaking generational curses mm -hmm. is our goal. Mm -hmm. Saving mm -hmm. lives because you know, bullying is all about being different. Mm -hmm. But entrepreneurship mm -hmm. is all about being different. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. we're gonna build a community where you're allowed to be different. Mm -hmm. You know, and then create an impact in the world. Those are our three messages that we want to teach these kids at such a young age. That's you awesome, know? man. That is awesome. And and, and, and I just want to say to our audience. Did you hear what he said in the beginning? He wants to teach that it's okay to fail. It's okay. Listen, failure People, equals greatness. Do you know how many times Steve greatness. Jobs Oh my God. Yeah. Elon Musk, all of the major uh, oh, players oh, in the man. world failed before they became who they are yes. today. Walt Disney. Yeah. You they know? all failed until they finally got, they didn't stop. And that was the difference. You have to keep on going. Yes. You know, yes. where yes. adults nowadays, they're going to, they're going to get depressed. They're going to quit. You know, kids aren't, kids are going to keep on going. They're naturally, they're creative. They're, they think outside the box, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we, we as parents tend to put them in a bubble mm -hmm. and not let, not allow them to express themselves, mm -hmm. you know, and I believe just let your kid be, do whatever he wants to do, you know, because that's where he's going to find his passion. That's where he's going to find the love of whatever it is he wants to do. Right, right. And you have to, you know, most parents invest so much money into their kids, right? And not allow them out of that situation, right? Mm, yeah. Allow them out of that situation. They learn whatever lesson God had for them. They learned it during that time frame. So the second he's like, I don't want to host no more. All right, what's next? Let's go. Right. I'm not going to be upset with the money that right. we invested right. because right. I know it made him who he is and who he will become in the future. Right. That's so awesome. just, just embrace the moment right. and allow them to do whatever they want to do. Well, yeah, and you know, with all that said, you know, it's amazing. All I have this saying is that um, next to every great man, there's a greater woman. Absolutely. Now I'm gonna take it over to Melissa. Okay. Melissa, you took on a big challenge marrying this junk, this did. man right here. I did. I know he's a good looking guy, number one. Yeah. I know all the chicks, you know, probably <laughs> you know, on him. But number two, he's probably one of the most successful entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs in this area. How did that mesh with you, you know, joining the family? So I get when we first started dating, I was young. I still mm -hmm. lived with my mom. Um, I had uh, I had a newborn baby oh. um, and he was a, we were friends before anything else. Awesome. And awesome. I saw so much of myself in him that it was just easy. It was just easy. Um, 
you know. When you said had, you saw so much of yourself in him, yes, was it like, the entrepreneurial side? No, not at all. Just as a person. Like okay. I had not I had no idea what being an entrepreneur was like. Mm. I had no idea mm. the sacrifice faces that mm -hmm. it took. Mm -hmm. Um to do what he did. Like mm -hmm. our first date <laughs> didn't even go through because he messaged me. We had plans to hang out on a Friday. It was nine o'clock at night and he messages me and goes, hey, are you ready? And I said, what? <laughs> for what? And he goes, let's go eat something. I said, honey, I have a brand new baby. I said, and my baby's in bed. And once my baby's in bed, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I was just so busy. You know, if you could only see what a day in my life was. I said, I, I respect that. Mm -hmm. But if you want to spend time with me, you're going to make the time and take me out at uh, appropriate like a, at appropriate wow. time. Wow. Um, wow. And so he did. Wow. That is yeah. amazing. It's interesting yeah. how couples meet. And the, and the thing that you said that stood out the most is that you guys were friends yeah. first. Absolutely. That yeah. makes a big okay. difference. Still are. That and makes still a are. major still difference. That's how me and my wife. Yeah. yeah you, you have, have to we, still we, date right. your wife. Right. There you go. Like you we go on dates. We, right. We're more friends than we are husband and wife. Yes. Awesome. So awesome. we have, awesome. we, we talk about everything. Like people are scared to talk about their past. Right. 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 But right. you can, when you let that go, mm -hmm. you know what triggers your significant other. Right. So you know right. what not to do and what to do. Right. right. And you help them through their traumas to right. become a better person, you know? Wow. For us in the beginning, we learned that she had to meet me where I was, mm. right? Mm. Meaning, mm. you know. Nick was in his pack and play at right. the print shop in the middle of the night because I was gonna be there and I was just gonna help him. Wow. Right, like I wanna wow. hang out with this guy, I wanna be around him. So, okay, he's busy, I'm, I'm gonna meet him where he's at, right? And. But it wasn't always easy. It wasn't. It wasn't easy, right? It's 10.30 at night, you're still at work. Like, you know, so I had to understand, like, if I wanted to have something with him that was gonna last, I had to uh, embrace his his passion. Um, and so it just, it was, it was easy in a sense of because his personality matched mine and mm -hmm. our goals were the same in life and our faith was the same. Um, but it definitely wasn't easy in the beginning time-wise he is terrible with time <laughs> <laughs> i'm on puerto he rican time. time that's all i'm gonna say i'm on puerto rican time for, you know, <laughs> but, he but he, hey his print time. jobs come out on time they that's come right out on time, that's, and that's why every other times sack or sacrifice and so i had to understand that and, and instead of like you know straggling belong you know behind him i had to come alongside him if I wanted this to work, I have to meet him where he is. And that's, and, what we and that's that because so awesome. that's because it's the beginning, right? Yeah. We're building a brand. Right. So in the beginning, you got to put your sweat tears. Mm. You got to sacrifice so much in the beginning that your brand has to be built on something solid. Right, you're right. I'm that's to right. the point now, my brand is solid. Yeah. So, you know, it we is. can step back now and enjoy each other. Like, I'm supposed to be at work right now. Like, right. I'm here. Right, right. My By customer, the pool. Right, you know? Wow. And, Wow. And it just, it finally is to that point where my brand is solid. You know, when yeah, you walk yeah, around, right. everyone asks. Right. I get phone calls. I get texts. Hey, someone just said they know you just because of the hat. You right. know, the right. name has been branded so good. But that's that's what it was. In the beginning, it was building the brand. But the brand evolved when my wife came along because it was only me. But now it's a family business. Like now they know me, my wife and my kids. Wow. You know, so my brand, wow. brand became a family known. So everybody knows who my kids are. Everybody knows my wife. Like this is Innovative Twist. It's not me anymore. In the beginning it was me. Now right. it's my whole family. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. And uh, you know, and, and publicly, I just want to say, Josh, I am extremely proud of you. Just as Appreciate a friend, it. as a client, you know, just as a brother. Thank you. You know, I'm extremely proud of you, man. You know, but. We gotta get the little Nick, Ooh. little the, the Nick. real star. I, tell you I, what, I was man. the star. I ain't the star no Nikki more. Nikki Styles is absolutely amazing, guys. And uh, Nick, so tell me, what made you want to be a host? Well, at first, my dad was starting this fashion show, and we got to go on the news. And I saw a microphone, and I was like, "Hey, can I t say something on the mic?" So he let me, and I kind of liked it. So when the auditions came around, I I asked to do it again, and I did it. And then I really like that like a lot. <laughs> wow, wow. What did you say on the mic the first time? Do you remember? No, I do not. You don't I remember what you said? It was a lot said? of roasting. It was a lot of roasting. Oh, a lot of roasting? So, so, so now, 
Now, now I tell you, man, I heard about you at the main hotel when the MMA fighters were staying there and you actually did one of the jobs. You did the hosting job. Yeah. How did you I like did. that, man, with the MMA guys? The first time it was scary because that was the most I hosted in front of. Yeah, because that's but, packed house. That's 10,000 people. Yeah, but it was also fun because it was the most that I hosted in front of. So wow. it was different and cool and new. Right, right, right. Wow, man. And you know, what, what are some of your goals? What are some of your goals now? Famous. Well, you're already <laughs> that. You reached that goal. What's next? Gonna I, Now I hear a little rapping going on. Is that something in the, in the works? I don't think so. Okay. How's school? School is good. I'm going into sixth grade. You're going to the sixth grade? They survived yeah. quarantine. And you survived quarantine. With straight A's. Straight yeah. A's, virtual. man. You hear that? Virtual, straight yeah. A's. I love it. I love yeah. it. Man, I'll tell you what, I am so honored to just be able to work with you today. Because God only knows when you're big and famous, and God know Josh, your dad knows that we work with a lot of famous people. Oh yeah. You know, I can say, I knew him back then. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> you cool. know, and I tell you what, you, you know, your family is beautiful, brother. Thank you. Man, I tell you what, I am so excited. And Nick, I am so proud of you, man. Thank you. You just Thank don't you know. Me. Awesome. Hey, man, you're, it's my pleasure. Uh, but now, tell us a little about Kids and Biz, Josh. So that's the new project. That's the new baby that we, okay. that, we're calling that our quarantine baby. Okay. Um, okay. Because, you know, we moved This into, is our quarantine baby. Yeah. <laughs> we, it allowed us to move into a space. Print died down. No one was open. So, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it allowed us to finally take the time that we needed to build kids and biz which mm. is we're going to teach kids how to start their own business from 8 to 18 right i want all i want everyone in the world to understand what business is even if you don't become an entrepreneur the skills that you learn from be, being an entrepreneur are life skills at the end of the day you right. become an asset in any business because That's right. you That's don't right. you're not just clocking in now you're you're literally learning system processes what can i change to help businesses be better right i want kids to I want them to think big, stop. You know, I did so much research and all I seen was walking dogs, babysitting, um, you know, and for me it's no. How about, you know, and mowing grass, right? How about owning a landscaping company, a dog training facility, mm -hmm. or a daycare, right? Think big, stop thinking small. Because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. everything is possible. So our biggest thing is literally teaching kids how to become entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Now, know? do you have other instructors so, or is it so right now we're building, it, it hasn't launched fully. We're building out the curriculum right now. We have in the office now, the way we have it set up, we have an affirmation room, mm -hmm. um, a meditation room, because we want kids to understand what it's mm -hmm. like to meditate, quiet your mind and just listen. Mm -hmm. um, we have a podcast studio, so we'll do podcasts mm -hmm. for, awesome. where, you know, awesome. we bring people in like you and a yep. kid who's interested awesome. in the same thing awesome. and are awesome. able to talk awesome. and understand what your struggles and successes and failures were, right? And 99% of the time, most likely you end up becoming a mentor, right? right. Okay. Um, we have the conference room, the board room for the kids, and the computer lab room, the photography studio. So we, we'll be nationwide. This isn't a small thing. This is, I want to be in every city, every state, every country. Um, I just want to expose kids to entrepreneurship. We're so used to pushing kids college, college, college. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, most people go to college, don't even use their degree. Right. And That's right. They live their That's life right. in debt. I need to break that cycle. Right. You know, That's I want right. kids to understand they can make money now, today. They can make an impact in the world. It's not about money anymore. It's That's right. how can I make an impact in the world? Right. So, you know, mm -hmm. just be on the lookout. It's coming soon. We're we're almost we, ready. We are excited. Yeah, we we're are super excited. excited. Man, that's awesome, man. That's good. And you know, right now we've got a young chef. Chef K. You've probably seen her on television before. But today, she's on poolside cooking. And we're gonna see what she's cooking up over there on the grill. So we're back with Chef Kehlani, and we're so excited to try these grilled cheese sandwiches with cucumber. So please direct me on how you'd like me to place it on the grill. Um, you can just, I would like it like a bit forward so I don't really have to reach out. Okay, so just lay it down. Yes. Okay. And in the meantime, I'll mm -hmm. be buttering my stuff. Okay. 
So what kind of cheese do you put in your melt there? Um, I like to use the cheese crumbles. I find mm. it easier okay. and more efficient. Okay. Nice. So while one side is toasting, okay. I butter the other side. Okay. Do you want me to grab another piece? Should I grab another piece and put it on? Um, if you don't mind, sure. yes. Okay, I'll just place that right here. And I can flip whenever you're ready. I love being an assistant, a sous chef here. <laughs> you know, thank you for trusting me, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> you, you know, trust me in the poolside cooking uh, kitchen. You know, I can help. I can be somebody's sous chef, okay? You can. Thank you. You're thank very you. good at being a sous chef. I appreciate that. I'm gonna take it too. I'm gonna take it. Okay, what else can I get ready for you? Yo, um, you've done a lot of stuff, thank okay, you. Okay, okay. But I think, um, you can just make sure everything's ready with the cheese and because okay. I'll be putting that on in a few minutes. All right. I want to check under this. Yeah. Would you like me to flip it? I can flip. Sure. Just want to make sure we're safe here. Good save on that. Okay. So do you add Looks more good. butter at this point? Or what would you, what would yeah, you do? Yeah, I, I would add more butter. Okay. We like butter. I just thought I'd, you know, throw it out there just in case. <laughs> Yeah, get it nice. You can't have a grilled cheese sandwich without butter, right? You need right. butter. Yeah. So you have, is this three cheeses? Yes. Wow. So what kind of cheeses did you bring? Cheddar, Gouda, and American. Oh, I love Gouda. Yes. And is this your crumble as well? Yes. That's oh my, my cheese goodness. crumble. Yeah, I see. She has like two different, it looks like cheeses. Is that like, explain this. What again is that? Well, that's like my yummy cheese crumble. Oh, so she has secrets. She said yummy cheese crumble. <laughs> I love it. So basically, the cheese got crumbled, okay. and it's basically in like a nice, easy form, so I can put it on, and it'll like melt all over and make it delicious. It's gonna be perfect. I already know. Okay, so you just tell me what else I can get for you. Ready for the cheese? Let's see if the other side's ready. Okay, so should I flip it? Yes. All right. Oh, it looks great. Yeah. Looking Great. good. Let's let the other side cook for a few more minutes okay. so, so it's evenly done. So tell us, how you how did you get into cooking? Well, um, I saw my auntie at the store one day and we decided we both wanted to make tacos that day. So we did like a taco virtual like a virtual taco cook-off. Okay. And then I realized, since all my friends are stuck in the pandemic, cause I started at that time when it first started, I thought I not only wanted a way to make it like fast, fun and easy, but and hang out with all my friends, but also get them a delicious meal. Yes, look at that. Let's see if it's ready. I love it. All right. What do you think? What do you think, chef? Look good. Okay, I think so. I think it's golden, right? Right. So should we, which cheese would you like to choose first? Um, I think I should try the Gouda and um, cheddar first. Okay. Yes. I love it. We're going to get three cheeses. Mm -hmm. And luckily, Mother Nature is doing some of the work for us. So some of the melting is already taking place, you know? We're going to have ooey gooey grilled cheese sandwiches. And I mean, who doesn't love a grilled cheese sandwich? I mean... They're just amazing. And I've never had it with cucumber, so I'm really excited about how that's gonna taste. You know? I like that. So what I'm, I'll do is I'll grab this cheese too, and I'm just gonna put, is that okay if I just put like gouda on this one or American? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'll just spread in this one. She's gonna be extra, that's gonna be extra gooey right there. Okay. I think that looks great. Yeah. And so would you just put them on top of each other now? Yes, okay. but we need to wait for this one okay, to melt. Okay, okay. So. Chef says wait, so we wait, and Chef's ready. I love it. It's coming, it's coming along. I yeah. think we, we're ready for that one. We can take that one off. Okay. We'll just kind of like place this here. And in the meantime, while that's um, melting, okay. we can sort of do our cheese crumble okay. now. Okay. Now, are you going to put that on top of that? Um, I'm going to put it on top of, wait, I'm okay. going to put it on top of that one once it melts. Okay, okay, I'll hold oh, it for wait, you. just in case, let's make sure the other side okay. isn't burning. I know, that's right, because it's easily burned. Right. Okay, we I'll can, put it there. Um, let Mother Nature do sure, the rest exactly. of it. I love it. Now, let's put some Gouda right up there. You I can... just love that you're making these sandwiches, you're doing this, and I just think that's amazing that you thought of your friends and that you wanted to feed your friends. I think that's a really good friend, right? Who wouldn't want to 
want to have a friend like Chef Kehlani. Yeah. You still can be my friend. Hopefully, <laughs> you can see my Instagram page. And don't forget to also follow Poolside Cooking. Yes, exactly. Thank you so much. Okay. Should I flip it? Or, oh, we need our cucumbers. Yep. So. Thankfully, I've already pre-cut a few. Yes, oh, you wait. Have. I was going to um, actually roast them on the grill for a few <gasps> Oh, minutes. my goodness. That's right. You did say grilled cucumbers. Right. I'm excited for that. Okay. Do you want me to place those? I can place those. If you don't mind, of yes. Of course. So I'll just put this here. So we'll do this. Just kind of hand off. So where should I place it? Just anywhere? Try like like the grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay, just for, right like, there. Crisp them out okay. The oh, look at the sizzle. Even the cucumber. <laughs> How many do you like to put on your sandwich? About four. Okay. I like cucumber sandwiches. Do. You? No, I've Let's never see had if it the like other this. side of cook because they cook really fast. Oh, they do. Oh, so you got to watch your cucumbers, guys. Yeah. So would you like me to add these cucumbers in there? Yeah. All right. You said you like four, so I'm gonna just put those there. They look done. Okay. Good. 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 If chef approves, then that's what matters. All right. A bit more cheese on top of Ooh, the cucumbers. I like, it. I like it. We like really cheesy grilled mm -hmm. cheese. If you like cheese, let us know. We like cheese here. Yes. Yes. And I think it's time to flip. Nice. Right? Flip, flip, flip. Oh, it's so golden and pretty. And now we can just take a big bite. <laughs> it looks amazing. Yeah. Now, Chef Kehlani, since we've already had this cut up, I guess it's time now to feed our guests. Okay, who wants grilled cheese? Oh, that sounds great. Okay, we got to get this done. So maybe what we can do, we can go make those refreshing drinks too so they'll have those to pair with it. You're right. Yeah. Let's go. We'll see you in a minute. Man, Nick, that was a great episode, man. I'm so glad I got a chance to work with you, man. You're not, you're not going to forget about me when you get big and famous, are you? No, nope, hopefully not. Oh, uh, good. Well, you ready to take a swim? Yeah, but that's a nice watch you got on there. You sure you want to go in there with it on? Man, this is the Samsung 3 by T-Mobile. This thing can go 50 meters in the water. What? Yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, it's working. We'll see you back here again on another episode of Pool Side. Hey, let's sit by the pool side. The weather feels so, so good tonight. Sip on the red wine. Everything is so nice, yeah, it's time, time to yeah. Because right now We gon' take a dip, then we gon' sip, yeah cooking. The flavor is right, eating all night, yeah The taste of the smile on your face, not a thing we're gonna